Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you the simplest way to remove backgrounds for your PNG or JPG logos. So first of all, please remember to subscribe and like this video and let's get started. And this is the first way and the simplest way. This logo only consists of black and white. So if you just want to have the black part and just get rid of the white part it's very simple first of all select this image over here go to your inspector find blend mode click on this one and select darken this is the only step that you need to do and if you want to change the size or position of the logo just go to the bottom left and hit transform and then you can always just shrink the size and change the position of this logo say top right hand corner and that's all you need to do very very simple alternatively if you want to you know keep certain parts of this white color it is it's going to be a little bit more complicated first of all go to the effects tab and find draw mask or shape mask so if you're lazy bugs like me just drag a shape mask over here and obviously you can have a very circular kind of shape and adjust the position accordingly okay so say this is the end result you want to have for your logo and just click anywhere other than this clip you can see there are some white spots you can always just come here and change the radius setting like this and or alternatively you can just change the feather like this to bring it in even a little bit further something like that so this is kind of a already done logo and if you want to have the words below to appear just press option and drag this upwards remove the shape mask effect on this duplicate and after that you can use the previous method of using darken and that's all you need to do and all the words below are singled out in black and obviously if you want to shift the position you can just change it like this and bring down the scale and bring it upwards and that's all you need to do if you want to have the white color in the middle of your logo and that's pretty simple see white color in the middle the words are in black and the last method is pretty much similar however you have to use a different kind of a tool in your Final Cut Pro so as you can see there are white lines over here so first of all I'm gonna crop it out a little bit just to make sure there's only blue color in this picture and this logo as you can see now is only white and blue and you can't use the previous method of using the compositing blend mode to change the background however you can just go to the preset and type here and as you can see there are two different types of keyer so I'm just gonna drag keyer over here and voila the whites are being reserved that's all you need to do pretty simple usually you don't need to change much for your color but you can change the matte tools if you want and soften shrink expand yep see now the thing is becoming more obvious you know just play around with the tool of the keyer find the best solution to you know create your own logo without a very you know disturbing background and that's all you need to do very very simple very very effective and that's all for today's tutorial please remember just to subscribe to this channel and like this video thank you guys and bye bye